Hey guys, it's Kylie. This is my brand new updated makeup tutorial. I know I've done a few of these in the past and I'm always learning new things. So my makeup routine is definitely changing also since becoming a mom. It has gone from taking me 30 minutes to do my makeup to now having to do my makeup in 10 minutes. So this is my new routine. I hope you guys like it and yeah, keep watching. My first step before anything, since my hair is already done, is I'm going to clip up, clip my hair back so my foundation doesn't get in my hair. This is going to be very different than the drum get ready with me. And how cute are these mirrors, by the way? Coming soon. I like to start with my face primer from my birthday collection. So I'm going to put, my hands are clean, and I'm going to put like two squirts. Love this primer. It is such a good primer and it just makes my makeup lay so much better. Primer on. And then I'm going to do some of my Kylie Skin Lip Mask. This is Heaven. It is also launching soon, so stay tuned. My lips are kind of chapped right now, so this is great. So the last tutorial that I did, I did it for Vogue. My routine has definitely changed a lot since then. I've had to cut my routine down a lot. So this routine, it'll probably take me a little longer now because I'll be um, explaining to you guys every step of the way, but this routine really takes me no longer than like 10 minutes. Let's get into it. So I start with my foundation. I used to start with my brows, now I start with my foundation. And I'm using Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this foundation. I love how it makes my skin look. So I'm gonna do like three squirts of that in the color 6.5, and then I'm gonna do one squirt of nine. Then I'm gonna take this brush. It's um, a Kylie Cosmetics brush in number six. I like this brush because I like how it, um, you know, really gets my foundation in there. So I'm kind of gonna like mix it with my brush. Go ahead and apply. I definitely feel like this is my, this combo is like my perfect match. So I just like to like blend it in really well. So I'm even gonna like go over my eyelids and over my brows. My favorite part about doing my makeup is it's like a therapeutic moment for me. Um, I turn my music on. Um, if I'm getting it ready at night, I'll have like a glass of wine or I'll have like my coffee I'm doing in the morning. Okay, so now that I got a nice thin layer of foundation, I'm gonna use a beauty blender and just blend it in so there's no streaks from the brush. I always go down to my neck. Okay, so next step is my concealer. I'm using shade Maple right now. I don't like to use too much. And then I have some little imperfections there. I'm gonna do like just a little on my forehead and down my nose. I'm also gonna take Himalaya and just do like two dots under my eyes. This has like a pink undertone, so I really feel like it cancels out any dark circles that I have from not sleeping. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Stormy is actually super into makeup right now. It is amazing. She, every time I'm wearing lipstick, she notices and she looks at me and she's like, lip, lip, lip. Okay, now that we blended my concealer in, I'm gonna go and take my favorite setting powder in the entire world. It happens to be by Kylie Cosmetics. First, I'm gonna do a light set with soft pink. I like to use this definitely for the under eye area because again, it has like a hue of pink which I feel like cancels out my dark circles. So I'm just gonna do a light layer like that. And then I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and Translucent, and I'm gonna set. And then when I do my eyeshadow, this will be a good base because I don't want my eyeshadow to fall under my eyes. One product I can't live without is Definitely lipstick. I'm obsessed with lipstick. Ooh, I don't know what I would do without it. So I'm just pressing uh, my translucent powder into the center of my forehead, um, under my nose, 
and the center of my chin. I also, you know, I'm baking around my nose. So I'm gonna leave that there. And then I'm gonna take another brush and do a line down the center of my nose. And I feel like when you just bake like this, it really just like perfects your makeup. And last but not least, I'm gonna take beige, the color beige with my big chunky brush and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Love this color. I love that it doesn't make me look, it doesn't like take the color away. It keeps your face looking warm. Okay, so now that I'm all set, I'm gonna do my brows. So I like to do my brows next. This is shade medium brown. So my routine before, I would start with my brows to make them super snatched. But now I kind of, for my everyday routine, I like to just do them pretty fast and more natural. So I start with lining underneath and getting that shape extending out. I like my brow to be a little bit longer on the end. In the Drunk Get Ready With Me video, I knew there was no turning back when I started doing my brows and I just like couldn't do them. I knew I was like really, really wasted at that point. Making my brows look at least decent on an everyday basis is very important just because Ariel, like my makeup artist, really instilled in me that brows like frame your face and it's just so important to have bomb brows. Um, after I line the bottom of them, then I brush down my brows and I kind of like line the top lightly and like just shape them out. If I only had five minutes to do my makeup, I would definitely just do concealer, brush, blush, and brows, and maybe one of my lip blushes. Now that I lined my brows, I'm gonna go in with, um, I'm actually using Cool Brown, my little shadow duo for my brows. I'm just kind of like filling them in. I love how powder makes your brows look, and then brushing it through to make it a little more natural. I haven't even thought about what, when I'm gonna let Stormy wear makeup. I don't know, I'm just gonna see. She might even not wanna wear makeup. I mean, honestly, but how things are going though, like this girl is obsessed with makeup. She begs me at this point. These are my little brow sticks um, and I am obsessed. They're so easy. It literally is the best creation ever. And I kind of just um, line underneath my brow. I'm using the shade medium matte. Okay, so after I put that on, I kind of like blend it out into my lid. A beauty trend that I love right now are the rhinestones all over the eyes, um, inspired by Euphoria, which I love that show by the way. I definitely want to do a rhinestone look very soon. I'm gonna go right into my eyes. So for an everyday easy look, I always go for my bronze palette. This was my first palette ever, and it's still my little baby. Um, I love it. My, the shades, the mattes in here are still my absolute favorite. It is, oh, Ariel's calling me, let's answer. Ariel. Hi, Lee. I'm filming. I'm filming a makeup tutorial. All right, call me later. <laughs> Wait, do you like my oh, brow? Your, your brow is killing it. Your skin looks stunning. What lip should I do today? Well, initially I want to say Kylie. Yeah. The Kylie lip kit, but I think you should do, go back to your OGs, like do um, one of your first lip colors, like Candy K or something. <gasps> okay. All right, I'll think about it, bye. I'm gonna do like a two second eye look because this is what I do when I'm rushing. So I'll mix Topaz and Tiger Eye. 
Um, it's like a cool tone brown and like a warm tone brown. And I put this right in my crease. So really all you need is like one swipe and I kind of blend it out. Like my, and then I go in little circles over here. That's literally all I need. So I'm gonna do the other side. I like to blend it in here. And Ariel, every time he does my eye, he goes in here and then he blends up into my brow. So I just like do that now. I don't know what it really does for me, but. I'm gonna take Jasper, this light color, and just put it in the center of my lid just to on both sides and then blend it out. I feel like it just gives me like a, gives me like a faux cut crease. Just like brightening up that inside in there so I go right below my crease. I'm gonna take bronzite, which is like a really dark brown. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit. I'm gonna put it in with this flatter brush, which is number 13. And then after I place it exactly where I want it to be, I'm gonna take my bigger brush, which is number 15, and I'm just gonna do a quick blend. Okay, so this is what I would do like on an everyday basis, but I think I'm gonna add some shimmer eye glaze in the center of my eye because I have shimmer eye glazes coming out um, this fall. Um, this is one of my favorite formulas for Kylie Cosmetics I've ever created. I've done it for some collections so far, so you guys might already be familiar with the formula, but if you're not and you haven't tried it yet, I think it's an amazing thing to have in your makeup collection. Um, it's so easy to apply and it just it, it just really amplifies your look. My vibe this fall, I cannot wait for the cold again, you guys, and coats and sweaters and all that. I'm debating between these two shades, more pie please, which is like a lighter shade, or brown sugar, which is this gorgeous brown. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks exciting. This color is everything. It's like brown and when I put it on my finger, it has like pink in it. It's gorgeous. We're going with brown sugar. And I'm only gonna take a little because I wanna blend it out all over my eye and make it look not so pigmented. So I'm gonna start like that. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. And then I'm gonna take a clean finger and blend it out. I like to use my fingers for these colors. I'm gonna do this on my lid, and I'm gonna do the other one in the center. So I'm gonna do more pie please right in here. And also these shades are really nice because you could do a lot or you can blend it out where it kind of just looks like your eyes are wet. So my favorite part, eyeliner. So Maguai Guai. I'm gonna have you hold the mirror right here because I need I need a two-hand situation. Okay, so this is my Kai liner, best liner of all time, period. And then, so I do the top. And then I do the bottom. And I like it long. Okay, so I like to do my liner super long and make my eyes look really extended. Now, I think it's a good time to brush my brows up. And then we're gonna dust underneath my eye. I'm gonna mix um, my bronzers, tequila tan and toasty. And I'm gonna do this to contour my face and add some warmth back in here. So now that we're done with that, I'm gonna take beige now. Just a tiny bit. I'm not gonna lie, I watched the Vogue video recently of me doing makeup and I like cringe at how much powder that I put under here. Cause right now I really just do like super light powder. I'm gonna do a little bit of beige and then I'm gonna do a 
some translucent like right over top okay so now we're gonna let that sit I am almost done so I'm gonna do my lash line so I'm gonna go in again with topaz and tiger eye I'm gonna start the edge try to just be as close to my lash line as possible and blend all the way Okay, so now I feel like it's time to take my lips out. I know I talk about blush all the time, but it really is my favorite. So I'm gonna mix some of my two favorite shades from my collection, Fatty on the Block and Winter Kissed. This is a very blue-based pink. This is more of a peachy vibe, um, but I think the mixture of them together is beautiful. So I'm gonna take my favorite blush brush, which is number three. I really put it just all over my face because I'm just like, why not? I think it's time for some highlighter. I am going to use my favorite shade, Queen Drip. Looks like this. And I'm going to do it right just on my, to the top right there. I'm not going to drag it onto my cheek because I don't like, Highlighter on my cheek. Um, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and do right down the center of my nose. Mm, maybe above my lip a little bit. Okay, now it's time for a lip. Candy or Kylie? Candy or Kylie? I think I'm gonna go with Kylie, sorry Ariel. It's just my favorite. So I'm gonna do my Kylie lip liner. How I like to do my Kylie lip kit is I like to line my lips pretty much all the way in like I just did. And then I put Kylie right in the center. Center only because I like really like, like an ombre lip. So now I'm gonna do some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished my mascara and now I'm going to, the last step is to just wipe off what the little bit left that I've been baking here. I'm gonna spray my setting spray. This setting spray smells amazing. I get so many compliments on my setting spray. I just like to do like a light mist all over my face. I'm so happy I did this for you guys. My routine has definitely changed since becoming a mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.